Okay, uh, what we've got here is a mould that I've just de designed to be able to wet mould a pliers pouch. I uh, should have thought to grab the pliers. I'll see. There should be some here. Okay. Didn't think of that. Right. Best I can work out from their measurements, drawings and that, it's a pair of pliers like this. And uh, what their customer wants to be able to do is something like 28 moles in a day, so that's why I've developed these uh, holding tabs, so that once it's pressed into shape, we've got something to keep it clipped together for a while. He intends to buy several moles so that they can be drying off at the same time. So, I've cut one out here for now, um, to the shape that I think it'll be right for. Here I've just got some cold water in there. Now normally I like to put a little bit of, um, when I'm wet moulding, quite warm, not quite hot, but reasonably warm water and a little bit of detergent. So I'm just going to, whoop, that's a bit more than I intended. It's a trouble when you're trying to do two things at the same time. Filming. Okay, here we go with the jug. We had a bit of... I just boiled the jug a little while ago. I don't actually want to use hot water, as I said. And it's still good to get the hands in. Could be a little bit warmer. I'll add a touch more. Okay. So I'll give that five minutes or so of soaking time. Generally you can get an idea with most leather you'll see air bubbles and that coming out of the uh, leather. So we'll get that good and worked in over a few minutes. So we'll come back there and we'll go and try it out in the mould and the press sometime shortly. Okay. Right. Okay, just to explain a little bit about the leather that I'm using to test out at the moment, um, it's got to be fairly robust, the mould and nice and smooth. Uh, the thickness that I've picked here in this case is, hopefully you can pick that up, that's three and a half mil thick at this stage. And it has a like a painted type finish on it, um, quite boardy. But after it's wet down and that, we're about to take this out of the water that I showed before. And at this stage, it's now a bit over around about four mil thick. Okay, so the water's well and truly penetrated the leather. Now. What I'll do from this stage here, before I put it into the mould, is go around and just make sure that it's reasonably softened up to be able to take up the shape of the mould well, as well as um, it isn't a bad idea to be able to put it aside and let the water go out of it a bit first. I probably should be using a towel here, but Having a shirt and pants on helps. Right, that'll push up into the mould. I'm a wee bit oversized on my cutout here at this stage, but that line there tells me what I need to know. The fact that that needs to be in the middle there. So I just push it down a little bit, set that down into the locators, and at this stage I can get away with pushing the mould into place a bit. I may be able to lock some of the lockers into place. I'd say I'm going to be hard pushed down here in the tongue area to get it fully down so that's where I'll need to go and put it into the press. So we'll go out to the shed Cowboy press, which hopefully will work alright to 
bring the job down. So I put the mould into there and probably best to bring it down over the whole shebang. Alright, press it down whether I need any more, I'm not sure. It's okay, luckily I've got the settings about right I think. With a bit of luck, yes I can push the things up into place and that's now set to dry out for the next few hours. Okay, not much pressure at the back one now, I might end up putting a rubber in the back. Okay, so at this stage here, that's where we're up to, we'll come back again later after a couple of hours and it's hopefully dried out enough to be able to take out. Okay, we've waited a couple of hours now and hopefully it looks alright at this stage. We'll find out if there's any scratches in our paint or anything in a moment. So if you can just give me a second here. Take all the tabs out. Just using a screwdriver here. A bit tricky trying to film with the left hand and not my best hand. Okay, I'll just lever the mould up a little bit in a couple of spots and see what we get. Once again, a little bit tricky with one hand. Okay, at this stage, like that, all looks pretty well. So we'll see if we can pop it out from the top here. particularly bad marks there. Hopefully the customer would be happy with that result and he can take it from there and we'll get to see in the future hopefully some of the pouches that he uses it on. Thanks for watching and bye for now.